Back now to our audit team coverage. There's a lot of information in today's presentation, so we're here to help fact check it. Our Garrett Archer here now. Uh, you worked as an elections official for the Secretary of State's yes. office. This was back in 2016, the 2018 race as well. He provides us valuable insight in all this to help us break this all down and fact check the Cyber Ninja's presentation. So we want to start with a claim, first of all, that tens of thousands of votes actually may have issues. Yeah, so the county audit claimed that tens of thousands of votes uh, were could have had problems, 37,739 people to be exact. I mean, so how did they come to that, that number, that conclusion, and is that even accurate? So what Doug Logan did is he took a publicly available election file uh, that they received from the county uh, for the subpoena and bounced them off a commercial database called Melissa Data. And you say that presents a problem right away, right from the start. Yeah, so publicly voter uh, publicly available voter files contain a name, an address, and a year you were born. This makes for a very weak match. In fact, the auditors state that around 86,000 voters could not be matched to the data warehouse. And then even if that match is, is totally reliable, completely reliable, there'd still be issues? Yeah, so let's look at the two findings that they mark as critical. Mail-in ballots that voted from prior addresses, 23,344 people, and potential voters that voted in multiple counties, 10,342 people. And you reached out to go deeper on all that. Yeah, so I reached out to both Maricopa County and the Secretary of State's office to spot check the data we had from the audit, and they both confirmed there were a lot of false positives, meaning that people have the same name, same year of birth. We found them in the files, but they were completely different people. They also said that there is absolutely no evidence of people voting in multiple counties. When people move from Maricopa to another county, their history carries over. So if you are not looking at a centralized database, a person could appear on files from different counties. And I understand that Maricopa County told uh, you and ABC 15 that they have dedicated three staff members in total to check out all 37,000 of these records that the audit said was questionable. We don't have any idea when they might be complete, but uh, they say they're confident no widespread issues were found here. Correct. All right, important, and thank you for helping us break it all down, Absolutely. Gary. Absolutely.